in a lot of the time that I've spent screwing around with Steam and video games and Origin and all that kind of stuff, um, you tend to build a bunch of cruft on your hard drive just because you have all of these errant installers for DirectX and .NET and all this other crap. And if you are playing on uh, several terabyte hard drive, it's not really so much of a big deal, but I recently stumbled upon a piece of software that is like really, really great. And it is Steam Cleaner from Tiki One that you can get at GitHub. Um, I will have a link to this down in the description. And part of the reason why I'm doing this is because it was very annoying for me to figure out as a noob how the hell to get the software here. Um, because when you come to the website, it, it's, it is not immediately obvious how it works, unlike uh, SourceForge. So when you come to the website, there's going to be this link here called uh, down, Download Zip. Click on that, and you will get a file that is an archive um, that you can open up. And I'm using 7-Zip to pull this out. And everything is going to be in this one folder. And what I advise you do to do is just drag the folder onto your desktop. And you can screw around directly from within here. It's a, a Java file, but I, I know there are a lot of people who hate Java. If you don't have it installed in your system, uh, grab it, because it does make a lot of things easier. And you just run the batch file and it brings up this window and um, there, there's one specific thing that I want to point out in, in this that's not obvious from from the interface is that you can have it look for Steam automatically and as you can see you know it has it, it had found it for me and you could also add custom folders to it you can add it to list and then send it to look through your hard drive to wherever you have any of your other games installed such as where you install your origin games where you install your good old games uh, games and where you may have other installers for any other game that you might have uh, that one maybe not so much because you know if you're installing it it's already there but it's just a really handy thing. Now, I have gone through and actually um, re-downloaded a bunch of stuff to, to get the, the populated files here, just to give you an idea of, of how it works. But it's, as you can see, I do have rather a lot of stuff installed still but it will go through this process and it will look through all of your Steam games by default but then also through those other folders which is why I suggest adding your origin games files and, and all those other locations and it will pull out you know all of the other distributable stuff so like this is all stuff from Steam and then I reinstalled De Dead Space and it finds the installers for those removes selected items from disk and it's done and it's really great and really awesome because now you free up a lot of hard drive space. Um, as I said, I have a lot of games on there, but I freed up about four gigabytes of installers. And if you know that the installers are only, you know, a couple, like all told for a given game, they're only a couple hundred gigabytes together. That's a lot of space to free up. If you're playing on an SSD, then it is even more important to be able to make use of that. One other tool that I wanted to point out to people who may not know it is Steam in, uh, Enhanced Steam. It's a plug-in for your web browser. It does not change the Steam client itself. It only works through the website. But um, you can get it through the Steam store if you go to the website, which I'll also include a link for, and click on download. It will send you to the Chrome web store and you just install it through there. They, they are legit. It does ask you to sign in through Steam, but it's the Steam sign-in process. And once you have done that, 
you'll see this little enhanced steam bit up here. And there's a very subtle donate link there. And I don't know if you want to do that. But it does things to the interface that are really, really freaking great. For example, I have a Viscera cleanup detail from Shadow Warrior, apparently. This must be part of the the DLC for pre-ordering. And it is in green. It also tells me that I have one friend that owns it uh, here for a scapegoat. I know one dude that wants to get a scapegoat. I have The Wolf Among Us on my wish list, and three other people that have it on their wish list. And it'll give you that information. So it's kind of handy if you're a generous guy and want to get the people on your friends list games. Um, I'm not quite like that. But it has one other really awesome thing. So here I'm clicking on the Capcom Anniversary Sale. And I'm just going to pick the uh, Street Fighter game in here if I can find it. And the reason why I'm specifically picking Street Fighter is because it was on sale for 75% yesterday. So it was seven and a half bucks. And this is what I want to show you about what's great with this. So first off, you notice this big red thing. This is a really awesome bit of information that it provides you. It says, hey, this uses a third party D DRM, specifically what it uses. Um, games for Windows Live, I know there are a lot of people that hate it. It's going away next year. I've never had a problem with it, but, but it allows you to make an informed choice without having to scroll down and look through all of the other stuff that may or may not be obvious. Um, and then also there is this bit right here in the center. Lowest prices. It is currently available at Amazon.com. You can click on the link and it will send you to the page at Amazon.com. In so far as I can tell, this does not have a referrer link that gives other, that like sends money to them. It's just a straight web link. I could be wrong, but honestly, I don't really care. Also, um, it tells you what the historical low price is. So apparently it was even cheaper uh, earlier this year. And then also there are these info links where it sends you to um, a third party website called Is There Any Deal? And it gives you information about where else you can buy it. Also, the historical low, which sends you back to that same website, and it'll give you a graph over time. Um, there's another website called Steam Game Sales. It provides similar information, but it's not integrated directly into this enhanced Steam add-on. So um, it really offers you the opportunity to see a lot of good information. So now, one other thing that I wanted to demonstrate in this is that it'll also give you really good info about some of these bundles. Now here, I already have Street Fighter IV Arcade Edition. If I was curious about getting the bundle, um, you know, that has Tekken and, and this because of whatever stupid reason I got into my head, it will calculate and show me that had I, if I were to do this, I would be wasting seven bucks. Um, and that's really good information to have pointed out. I think Borderlands 2 may even show a better um, version of what I want to demonstrate. So here's Borderlands 2. I don't have any of the costume stuff. But if I get the package info here, notice I could get the Borderlands 2 game of the year edition and it has all this stuff it'll tell me that if I were going to do that just to get the collector's edition pack, I'd be wasting 55 bucks. And it, it'll do some of this math quickly for you and allow you to pull this information out. So I think that Enhanced Steam is, is a really great tool. As I said, the sign-in for it is through the, C, the Steam sign-in uh, thing, so you're not sending anyone other than Steam uh, your login info. and you know, they already know all about your account anyway, so... So you don't have to worry about, do I trust these people over here? Anyway, I really encourage you guys to get these because the, the info that you can, you can get from Enhanced Steam is really awesome, and the disk space that you can reclaim from Tiki1 Steam Cleaner is... is tremendous. <laughs>